test for symmetry in the equation y equals x squared plus 3 over x. First, we will test for x-axis symmetry by replacing y with negative y. So in the equation y equals x squared plus 3 over x, we get negative y equals x squared plus 3 over x. Does it change? Since the y has become a negative y, yes, it has changed. Therefore, there is no x-axis symmetry. Second, we will check for y-axis symmetry by replacing x with negative x. In the equation y equals x squared plus 3 over x, we end up with y equals negative x squared plus 3 over negative x. Since negative x squared is the same as x squared, we will take that negative out, returning it to x squared plus 3. Since negative x is the only negative left in the fraction, we can just bring that negative out front to get y equals negative x squared plus 3 over x. Does it change? Since so the second half of the equation is now negative, yes, it has changed. Therefore, there is no y-axis symmetry. And third, we must test for origin symmetry by replacing both x and y with negative x and negative y. So, y equals x squared plus 3 over x becomes negative y equals negative x squared plus 3 over negative x. We will simplify that. Negative x squared plus 3 over negative x can be simplified the same way it was above to get negative x squared plus 3 over x and then negative y remains on the other side. So then we take that and we further simplify it by crossing out both negatives to get y equals x squared plus 3 over x. Does it change? Since y equals x squared plus 3 is the same as our original equation, no, it has not changed. Therefore, there is symmetry in respect to the origin. Just a quick note, if we have x symmetry and no y symmetry, or y symmetry and no x symmetry, then we cannot have symmetry in respect to the origin. But if we have both x and y, or neither x and y symmetry, then we can have origin symmetry.